Well, today we're going to be looking at some unofficial Blake 7 miniatures. Now, these were supplied by a company called Beast in the Brock, um, which I think is connected to Crooked Dice, because these figures used to be done by Crooked Dice, because um, <coughs> they look like the same figures to me. So, I thought I'd go for a little representational range, so let's have a look at each one. So I've got Blake in his... I think season one, season two, green welly outfit with the Liberator gun. I'm gonna have to work out some way of doing a curly lead, probably some fine wire. And we've got season four Avon with a clip gun. These look really clean, crisp casts. We've got Travis Mark One, Stephen Grief from season one, looking all broody. Then we've got Travis Mark II, the wonderful Brian Croucher, Shooty Shooty Bang Bang, and then also I've done a Federation Trooper just to see what they're like. So today I think we're probably going to paint Blake, might do Avon as well, but we're, we're going to undercoat them and probably paint the faces and then try and finish one figure. Uh, so I'll go and undercoat these and then we can come back. Okay, so I've undercoated these with some grey primer brings out the detail really nicely detailed models um, so I think I'm going to do Blake today we'll put the others to one side so first off we're just going to block in the flesh I'm going to use my usual Cadian flesh tone oh, there it is. so some Vallejo like flesh dry and we'll come back and add some shade okay so the undercoat on the flesh is dry you can see I've added a bent metal wire cord um, I tried doing sort of stretch screw and trying to do a curly cord but at this scale it's just not gonna happen so I think that looks okay super glued on so all we're gonna do now is run some flesh shade and I use Reichland flesh shade into the face and the hands to bring out the detail in the crevices. There we go. Let that dry. While we're waiting for the uh, flesh shade to dry, we can start painting this shirt. And I, it's so I've had a look into this, and it, it looks like it's meant to be based on the first couple of episodes of Green Tabard that Blake wore. The shirt's wrong for that on the collar. It should be like a Nehru collar. Um, but that's the one we're going to go with. So the shirt is like a, a linen off-white. So I'm going to mix some sandry dust and some ceramite white. There we go. So let that dry, we'll come back and do the, uh, the highlighting on the flare. Okay, so I'm just going to use uh, a light and even further version of the flesh tone, so a bit more Cadian light flesh. And we're just going to dry brush over the face just to blend the shade in a bit. Doesn't need much. There we go. And then I'm going to paint in Blake's eyeballs in white. Okay. And we can also block in his hair. And I'm just going to use Rhinox Hide, nice dark brown. Okay, 
that dry. Okay, so we're going to add in the eyeball. I'm just going to use some craggy blue. See, I've also just undercoated the gun and the lead in black. So now I need to paint the pupil and a line under the eye, or above the eye, I should say, in black. Not too bad. Have to tidy it up a little bit. up a bit. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to paint his trousers uh, sort of a, a grey colour. I could actually leave him that colour. I think I might leave him that colour. And do his boots in black. incredibly hot here today so the paint is drying a bit too quickly on the brush. Actually I think his boots should be dark green so I might dry brush him with some green. I need to check actually because he didn't wear these boots with this costume so at this point we're just making it up as we go along. Try and come back. Okay, so I'm going to use Wag Flesh for his green tabard. I'll finish doing this and come back. Okay, so I've painted his tabard, I've done the edges in a slightly lighter green. I've painted his belt in a sort of tan colour, so I'm going to do silver for the gun and the um, belt buckle. I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel. Now, I know it's a lot of people online seem to be doing these in white, but I'm going to try silver, see what it looks like. If it doesn't look any good, we'll paint it white. Too bad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just run some flesh shade before we do a final dry brushing into some areas like the collar and that sort of thing. So we'll let that dry and then we'll dry brush him lightly with white all over. What I might do is also attach him to a base as well while we do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just some very, very light white dry brushing. Really lightly, just to bring out some of the detail. pretty good. So what I'm going to do is stick him on the base, stick some gravel on him, see what he looks like. Well, I've dry brushed him all over, added a base to him with a bit of gravel on because I figure he's in a quarry. Um, I think these are brilliant figures, really nicely done. They're not quite 100% accurate, but then they're unofficial, so, you know, they've, they've uh, I suppose, made little changes on them. Um, but you can make a really nice little diorama with these. So there's Blake. Um, I'll do some of the others later on. Please like and subscribe if you want to see uh, more of the others. Probably do Avon next. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend getting these. They're really nice figures. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.